I'm Jeff Heights. A fire rages through a Monroe County church. We'll have the latest next. We'll tell you how many people are affected by Hunt Wesson's move out of Rossford. And 500 kids won't be going home tonight. We'll tell you what they're up to. I'm Chris Peterson. Those stories in a swinging good time by the river. Next. Live from Toledo 11, the News Channel. This is Night Watch. Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with a developing story from Monroe County, Michigan. A Catholic church there is on fire. It's in Ida Township. Ida is located about 14 miles north of Toledo. St. Joseph's Catholic Church is located just west of Lewis Avenue in the town of Ida. Phil Jones uh, has arrived in Ida literally just moments ago. Uh, I believe he's uh, actually hooking up his microphone and, and getting a, a picture for us right about now. So what we're going to do is uh, go on to some other stories and we'll get back to Phil Jones with the latest on that fire at St. Joseph's Catholic Church in just a moment. Chris? Two Toledo fire chiefs are answering allegations tonight that they were double dipping, getting paid as instructors for Owens College while they were supposed to be on duty for the city. Chief Mike Williver and Chief John Coleman are accused of leaving their jobs to teach at Owens, then manipulating the schedule and the use of comp time to cover their tracks. Both men insist they did not abuse their power while they were on the clock. At any point in time did you leave your duties to the city to go out to Owens to teach? Not without coverage. Chief Cole? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The Human Resources Department is investigating those charges, and a status report from them is due out next week. Toledo firefighters spent several hours putting out a fire at a building on the mayor's so-called Dirty Dozen list today. The picture from Chopper 11 gives us a great view of the fire. The vacant warehouse is located at 600 Bassett Street. Authorities are calling the fire suspicious because it was abandoned and had no utilities that could have sparked the blaze. A Detroit man was killed in an early morning crash on the Ohio Turnpike. It happened at exit 5A, State Route 51 at Elmore. The Highway Patrol reports the 33-year-old driver tried to pass a truck, sideswiped it, then crashed into the median. He was thrown from the car after it flipped several times. The patrol tells us the man was not wearing a seatbelt. Now, back to our lead story. As we said, St. Joseph's Church in uh, near downtown Ida in Michigan uh, is on fire this evening. Phil Jones is now ready with a status report. Have you been able to determine how much damage yet, Phil? Uh, not a, Well, there's damage confined to one part of the church, although firefighters are opening up the, uh, the front steeple area of the church as we speak now to check for a possible fire there. But uh, as you can see behind me, we are on the back side of the church here in downtown Ida. This is St. Joseph's Catholic Church, a very old historic church here and um, the fire started uh, over in the uh, I guess it would be the the right hand corner of the church over there where you see smoke coming out uh, a witness told me he was uh, going outside of his house he noticed flames inside the church to begin with and then while he was on the phone with 911 uh, heard a, an explosion of sorts and fire began coming out of a rear window of the church no indication as to how the fire started here let's take an eagle eye view now with uh, engineer steve petrus in our remote unit an overhead view of the uh, the church and the uh, the smoke and the efforts by firefighters from i'd say about a dozen departments in monroe and lenaway and, and other nearby counties that have all descended on downtown ida michigan here to to put out the fire at saint joseph's church and uh, we also understand as well that there was both a wedding and a funeral in here today. The church was used today on Friday for both a wedding and a funeral. And um, we have the uh, chief of the Ida Fire Department over here now. He's going to join us now live. And chief, uh, go ahead and tell us your name, please. Ed Wurtenberger. Okay, you're the chief of the Ida Fire Department. And tell us uh, what you know about this fire so far. As of this time, we don't know, have any idea what started it. When we come, when we showed up, the whole back of the building was fully involved all the way up into the attic. I'd say, what, by my estimation, about a, dust, a dozen departments from various communities here fighting this? Or? Uh, right now we have five on scene. Five on scene. And we have other ones standing by at our stations. Uh -huh. Okay, so what happened? When you pulled up on the scene, what did you see here? I'd say the whole rear of the building was totally involved. Mm -hmm. There was flames in the attic, the whole rear of the corner. And, uh, the investigation will continue, I imagine, as yeah. you try to determine so the cause. We cool down and make it safe you know, when we get inside. Okay, thank you very much, Chief. Uh, that's Chief of the Ida Fire Department there as firefighters are beginning the, the cleanup work here at St. Joseph's Catholic Church. Of course, these are all volunteer fire departments come to one another's aid in an right. incident like right, this. Right, right, right. Absolutely, Jeff. And they are all here, believe me. Yeah. 
Okay, Phil, right. thank you very okay, much sure. uh, for your help tonight and right. for your quick reaction. And, of course, we'll have more information on this fire tomorrow morning on AM Saturday beginning at 8 o'clock.